for the avoidance of doubt, the Kwele people are a distinct ethnic nation recognized in Nigeria and the United Nations. The Kwele language is one of the recognized languages in Nigeria and the United Nations. Whoever is in doubt can contact the appropriate federal government authorities and the UN. While Ikwere is our political name, Ihoroha is our native name, and both refer to us, Ikwere ethnic nationality. We live and own the Emoha, Ikwere, Obiakpo, and Potakot city in alphabetical order local government areas in River State, Niger Delta, South South Geopolitical Zone of Nigeria. Do the Ikwere behave like Dibo? Do the Ikwere behave like Dibo? Or do the Ikwere behave like Benin? In Ikwere, outsiders allege that, we are, allege that we are lazy and immobile people. Yes, we know we are a conservative people, but we are not lazy. These attributes of conservatism were very obvious in Ikwere of up to the first half of the 20th century, but very reduced in Ikwere of today. Ikwere people are not lazy. We walk and are comfortable within our space. Take note of this. We walk and are comfortable within our space. We are reluctant to explore the outside. Hence, we appear immobile, not traveling to far places. But these are not Igbo characters at all. In fact, Ikwere is in direct opposite of Igbo's aggressive, exploitative, and very hardworking characters. Ikwere man is not a greedy person. He is satisfied with the little he has. He went down in his unguarded and uncalled statements all made within one week, stress that Ihoroha is Igbo because she speaks Igbo language. How did our people learn to speak Igbo language? It was basically through social and economic interactions before, during, and after the slave trade. Igbo culture appears stronger in relating and assimilating other people's culture to its numerical strength supported by their deep tendency in taking over other people's ways of life. The Igbo trader will never try to speak Ikwere, rather, they will speak Igbo, and because they have the economic and numerical strengths, they tend to command trading respect from others. This way, and over decades, other traders in that market learned Igbo language, even unknowingly. Thus, our people, and indeed Niger Delta people, have understood and spoke Igbo, and this surely does not mean they are Igbo origin. Another way, a people, our people learned Igbo language was through the millions of Igbo women married to Ikwere men. After marriage, the children are sure to learn and know more of Igbo language than Ikwere language. During the Eastern Regional Government, around 1952-1967, the Igbo dominated all strata of government. They also dominated especially the religious and educational lives of the Ikwere. We clearly or vividly recall the late Elder S. A. Kulo from Alo, who told us a story of, an, of how an Alo pastor who allowed singing of Ikwere songs in one of the Orthodox churches in Alo, the church leadership, dominated by Igbo, banned him from the church and directed that henceforth only Igbo songs should be allowed in the church. In schools, it was a popular story in my community how a pupil went for registration into standard primary one and the Igbo headmaster asked the father, what is your son's name? The father answered, Ovunda. The headmaster could not understand the name. He asked for the meaning and the father answered, it means the heart of the father. And the headmaster quickly wrote the boy's name as Obina. They forget that Ishekiri and Urobo are from Benin, but they hardly speak Benin language. They forget that Igbos claim to be, to be Jews, but they do not speak Jewish language. They forget that as Nigerians, we communicate through English language and bear English names, yet we are not English people. The query is conservative and risk averse. The Igbo is a risk taker and has great drive for profit. This character accounts for why Ikwere people are not into trading or business of high risk nature. This drive for profit is a strong motivating factor or character for an average Igbo man, but not in the Ikwere man. How many Ikwere people are into trading in Portacot, their own city? Can it be true that the Ikwere man is Igbo? So if Igbos can be in millions and thousands in all countries of the world, then they are surely in millions in Ikwere land. And no wonder Iwanya himself was raised in Ikwere land. Lumokoro. If you are talking about history, don't just say you are from Igbo. Give us a piece of history that relates us to Igbo. We are telling you today that there is a piece of history that takes us to Benin, 
Abua, Hausa, and Ibo. We'll explain that now. 